Hey everybody, I'm Keach Rainwater, your guest mentor for Studio NPL, back with another tip on filmmaking. And today we're gonna to talk about lenses, okay? Sometimes there's a little bit of mystery about lenses that people don't seem to understand. Uh, and I'm gonna to try to clear that up the best I can uh, today. Okay, so really when you're talking about in the world of filmmaking, there's two kinds of lenses. There's uh, zoom lenses, which is like this one here. That's where you have the lens and you can go uh, really wide, like a wide shot, and you can zoom in and get really close on a subject and zoom back out. Um, that's all fine and good, and those are great for like running and gunning and stuff, but one of the problems with zoom lenses is that there's uh, a lot of glass in there, and there's two problems with that. Um, one is quality. Sometimes uh, if you get a lot of glass, uh, in a lens, um, the, the detail, the amount of detail that you can, that you want to get out of your shot, uh, is kind of softened a little bit because there's so much glass in these zoom lenses. And then, uh, the other kind of zoom lens, the other kind of lens that we're going to talk about is a prime. Uh, a prime lens means that there's a, it's a set focal length. In other words, there's a whole set of primes here. I have a whole set of them. There's supposed to be six of them, but I think my other one's on another camera. But uh, here's a set of six. So we've got like an eight millimeter, a 9.5, a 12, there's a 16, a 25, and a 50. So that's kind of like the same as a zoom lens. So a zoom lens will, will run through all those numbers starting with the lowest, like the eight, let's say eight. And then you zoom in a little further and it would be a 9.5. And then you zoom in a little further and it would be, but the problem is, is the light level coming in. You lose a lot of light with these zoom lenses. So one of the cool things about primes is they, they work at a very low f-stop. So if you are, for instance, shooting at night or you're shooting in a room that's a little bit darker and you need that light, you need to be able to open that lens up, a prime will let you do that, uh, will let you open up the lens to a really, really low light setting. And also the quality is better on a lens. If you wanna get detail of somebody's face or some really, really fine detail of a subject, you get better quality with the prime than you do with the zoom. Now zooms are great for running and gunning and uh, if you're short on time, you've got plenty of light, like say you're outside or something, and you wanna be able to change the focal length really quickly without having to switch the lens, then a zoom lens is the way to go. But if you're in a low light situation and you are, uh, you need the quality and you have a little bit of extra time to change out the lens, um, then the primes are the way to go, you know, prime lenses. But like I said, they are all, basically every prime lens is, is it has a set focal length that it is. It's either really zoomed in really far and it stays that way, or it's a medium, or it's a, it's a really wide uh, lens. Um, so uh, yeah, so that, uh, hopefully that sort of demystifies a little bit about lenses. Um, and when you go to shoot your next film, you'll hopefully get to choose whether you wanna use a prime or a zoom and you'll know what that means and what the uh, quality implications are to that. So anyway, this is Keach Rainwater. I am your guest mentor today on Studio MPL and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>